first customer of the day, the trout. All right. Hey folks, this is Jason with the Good Life Outdoors. So Texas Parks and Wildlife has made their announcement on the 2022 and 2023 updated regulations for our speckled trout here on the Texas coast. As you may know, we had the big freeze last year in February and it killed off a lot of fish on the South Texas coast. And since then, Texas Parks and Wildlife have been assessing the situation, seeing what the fisheries are doing with that die off and trying to make some decisions to make that population a lot healthier. And so the announcements that they have made are going to limit further the size and possession limit of the speckled trout here on the coast. These new regulations are going into effect March 16th of 2022 and are scheduled to go through August 31st of 2023. It's important to note that these new regulations don't affect the entirety of the Texas coast. They start south of Sargent, Texas and go all the way down, affecting all of the bay systems, including Matagorda Bay, San Antonio Bay, Aransas Bay, Corpus Christi Bay, and the upper and lower Laguna Madre Bay systems. Now, if you've done any fishing on the Texas coast this past year, you'll know that the trout population is there. I've been catching them pretty regularly uh, and some pretty good size ones. This one here was about 16 and a half inches, which was perfectly legal in the old regulations. With the goal of increasing populations of speckled trout across the Texas coast, the new regulations are more restrictive. The new daily possession limit for speckled trout is reducing from five fish down to three fish. The size limit slot is also shifting. The minimum size trout is moving up from 15 inches up to 17 inches. And the maximum size is moving down from 25 inches down to 23 inches. You are now no longer able to keep one fish over the size limit as you were before. So what's the end goal in all of this? Well, according to Texas Parks and Wildlife website, their biologists expect this change to result in an increase in population since more mature fish will be spawning in 2022 and 2023. The major freeze in February of 2021 really wreaked havoc on the South Texas ecosystem around the coast and it resulted in a major fish die-off. So here, a year later, the Texas Parks and Wildlife biologists are just wrapping their heads around the long-term effects of this major fish kill. And what we're seeing with these new rules and regulations reflect their desire to bump up those numbers of the sea trout that perished in this kill. So what is Texas Parks and Wildlife hoping to accomplish with all this? Are Texas fishermen just supposed to stop targeting speckled trout? Of course not. There are plenty of trout in the water. What Parks and Wildlife is hoping to do is make this population stronger, healthier, and larger so that we can enjoy this resource for years to come. And personally, I'm okay with that. I may have to work a little harder to catch a limit. I may come home with fewer fish. I've been kind of careful about keeping trout since the freeze anyway, so this isn't really a big change for me. But most fishermen, I do hope, would agree that we want to keep this population nice and healthy. We want to get out on the water. We want to enjoy the bounty that the Texas coastal fisheries have to offer. So if the state is asking us to keep fewer trout and in a more narrow slot limit, I'm okay with that. I do have hope that this will do some good. And once this time frame is up, they'll reassess the population, see that it is grown and healthy, and we'll put those limits back the way they were. So let's recap these new regulations. They go into effect March 16th, 2022, and last until August 31st, 2023. The new possession limit is three speckled trout per angler per day. The new slot limit starts at 17 inches and goes to 23 inches. And no fish over the maximum length may be retained. And that's it. 
That's what we as Texas fishermen on the South Texas coast are going to be working with for the next year or more. And I hope it does everything for the trout populations that Texas Parks and Wildlife hopes it to do. I appreciate you following along with this today. I hope this was helpful. I hope you get out there and catch some great trout this year. You know, they're a lot of fun to catch. They're great to eat. And there's plenty of them out there. We're just a little bit more restricted on what we can keep. If you like what you saw today, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, subscribe to the channel. If you do subscribe, hit that notification button so you know when I post new videos. I appreciate each and every one of you following along. Y'all get out there and live the good life. Thanks a lot.